Winners, losers, scammers. It's been two years since the champion racehorse Farlap died. It's 1934 and horse trainer Charlie Prince thinks he's found the next champ. A racehorse named Redlock. One problem, Redlock's never won a race. Redlock has been performing like a brick for over six months. Charlie Prince knows something's got to change. At a racetrack in Murray Bridge, South Australia, his horse Redlock is again given terrible odds to win. And they're all like a shot out of a gun. They're all gaining pace at the first turn. This is unbelievable. Redlock's powering down the straight. Redlock, Redlock's sensational run is a fairy tale win. Charlie, Charlie. Charlie Prince stuns the bookies and pockets more than a thousand pounds. Everyone loves the story of an underdog champ. That's why at his next race meet, the punters flock to catch a glimpse. Everyone wants to win big with Redlock. And he doesn't disappoint. And he wins by a phenomenal 12 lengths. Charlie Prince is the newly crowned king of the track. Hey, uh, Charlie, what's your secret? The secret? Uh, well, Redlock loves his carrots. <laughs> but not everyone is convinced. A local journalist spots something that makes him suspicious. Calling in the race stewards, they discover that the horse has been tampered with. Ah, oh, paint. Police begin to unravel Charlie's scam. Tank with Redlock for months. Create great odds to win big. Then replace Redlock with another horse. A proven winner, a retired champ named Irby, with an impressive 23 wins. And whilst Irby was crossing the finish line, the real Redlock was on a property 60 miles out of Melbourne. The scam is exposed and Charlie Prince is arrested on fraud charges. When the trial begins, Exhibit A is the talk of the town. Redlock and Irby are paraded through the courtroom. The scheme pocketed Charlie some quick cash, but also earns him two years behind bars. And as for Irby, it turns out he'd been impersonating a string of other horses, including the little-known gelding named Duke Bombita and the six-year-old nag named Crisbean, both winning big across the country. And whilst Charlie Prince sits disgraced in his cell, his accomplice Irby enters the pantheon of racing greats. He is forever known as the Ring-In King.